Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm Pastor Teddy Marshall of Word Fellowship Ministries. I came outside today. It was just on my heart to just come outside and do this today, this message. It's, um, I'm standing, I know in case you can't tell, like you can't tell, <laughs> I'm standing in front of a school in the area and I just, I don't know, God led me here. Let's just put it like that. So today, the title of today's message is Mirror, Mirror. Lord, let it be you I see. And I'm going to start off by this is how it came about. So I was preparing, you know, getting dressed, getting ready and everything to, to do this this taping, this recording, and putting on a mascara and the eyeliner and everything. But when I got to the mascara, I kept putting it on, and it just seemed like there was one place where the mascara, it wasn't touching. It wasn't getting to the lashes. And I'm like, why is this happening? So I just keep going over and over it. And then I just you know, moved my head a little bit and noticed it was a small, small spot on the mirror. <laughs> when I moved to a clean, the, the clean place on the mirror, now don't, don't, don't tease me now. It's not that the mirror is dirty. It was just that one spot. What can I say? When I washed my hands, I told, turned the water on full force. Anywho, when I um, moved to a clean place in the mirror, I noticed the mascara was fine, the eyeliner was fine. It was the image that I, the image I was getting or that what I saw was because of the spot on the mirror. And that's what led to this message. I'm gonna read from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. But whenever a person turns in repentance to the Lord, the veil is stripped off and taken away. Now the Lord is the spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Emancipation from bondage, freedom. And all of us, as with unveiled face, because we continue to behold in the word of God, as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord, are constantly being transfigured into his very own image in ever increasing splendor and from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. As believers in Christ Jesus, there should be a change in us, our demeanor, our actions, behavior, and yes, even our countenance, our appearance. People will, they should, they will see God in you. And as you continue to grow and mature in him, more of him shall be seen in and through you. Now, yeah, people should see something, but we should see a change in ourselves. Looking in that mirror, we must be honest. Lord, let it be you I see. This request must come from the heart, a sincere desire to be surrendered and submitted to him, to God, in every area of our lives. We can't pick and choose. Um, you know what? I think I'll be the believer in this area. But the other things, no, I'm not ready to let that go yet. No, it doesn't work that way. From that place of looking in that mirror, um, Having that, that, let's see, encounter of going before the Lord for mirror cleansing, because he's the one that'll do it. We, we inquire, ask of him, Lord, what? What must I do to make this change? Lord, what do you see that needs to be changed? Be honest. And require him. Put a demand on God. And I don't mean disrespectfully. <laughs> We're going to put a demand on God uh, in humility, asking him, Lord, okay, I need you. Be honest. Lord God, I can't do this without you. I need you. I know a change needs to be made, but I cannot do it without you. Help me, sir. Change. The desire must first come from the heart. The desire to be the image of him, an example, a representation of him in the earth, a representation of his goodness, his glory, what he has done and who he is. It is made through the change, through intimacy with him. You know me. I'm all about the intimacy with God, right? <laughs> all right, let me keep it flowing. Let me keep it flowing. The intimacy with God is how the changes are made but it's also from that place that he will let us know daughter son let's let's talk about this area right here 
daughter, son, let, let, let's, let's make a few changes here. I'm with you. I'm not requiring you to do it or demanding that you do it on your own. Figure it out. Make it better. Get it done. God, who is a good God and loving father, he will tell us, daughter, son, this right here needs to be corrected. I need you to, 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 to take care of this, but not by yourself. Let me help you. Let me come alongside and help you make that change. In that way, the change is always permanent. We may have a moment, but we repent and we get back on track. The Holy Spirit will love us back on point. Let's look at James chapter 1, verses 23 to 25. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. You see the requirement, the the... Yeah, the requirement that God has for us to, to have that change of heart, to have that change of uh, behavior, to address those things that are ungodly, unholy, the things that would hold us up, is because God has a plan, a good plan for us to acquire and achieve, for us to do things, to for us to be blessed. But in order for it to be in the fullness of that he has said for us, we have to make a change. And we do it through that intimacy with him, trusting him that he's gonna help us do it. And here's the thing, when we look in the mirror, we don't have to be afraid. There should be no apprehension, there should be no fear. We're going to our father who looks at us with love, with love in his eyes, love on his heart for us. So there's no condemnation when he corrects. He doesn't correct in a way that will destroy or crush us. That's not God, that's not his heart. That's how the enemy operates, with condemnation, making you feel ashamed and guilty. God doesn't do it that way. So don't be afraid to go before the mirror and ask, ask God, Lord, let it be you that I see. Repent as necessary. As you stand there, when you go before the Lord, come on now, you're going you're gonna to go in confidence that the Lord is there with you to love you to wholeness, to love you co to correctness, to love you into the place where your heart is changed, where you want to live in holiness. Yep, holiness is not a cuss word. Holiness is living for God as the way he wants. So it position, positions you properly so that you would be in that place with him that he has set for you, carved out just for you to fit in. It's all yours for you to accomplish and to be and to get those things and to be that representative that he so desires for us to be because he knows how, hmm, how much it's needed. People need to hear of his love. People need to hear about the man who changed the appearance and the person who stands in that mirror. So repent is necessary. Lord, please forgive me for not cleaning my mirror. Make the changes that God's, as God reveals them and follow through on his direction and instruction into your holiness in him. By this you shall become as he determined from before the foundations of the world. You shall achieve, you shall accomplish, you shall acquire all he established for you. You shall fulfill your God-given purpose, wherever that may be, however it may be. He will empower you to get those things done. But first, we have to go before him in all humility and say, Lord, here I am. Search me, change me, empower me, love on me. So yes, we all have a God-given purpose to represent God. And I'm gonna take the shades off. It's, it's well, the sun is going down a little bit right now. <laughs> the clouds are moving. So I'm gonna take this off. You see, I did get the eye makeup right. Hmm, hmm, okay. <laughs> yes, and I, did I clean the mirror yet? Well, I will clean the mirror. <laughs> but it is God's desire that who he sees is himself in us and through us. That's why Christ came, died, and rose again. Yes, yes, yes. So Father, thank you. 
thank you for this message from something that just seems so insignificant. But you, Holy Spirit, developed a message of encouragement for all of us. I pray that those who hear this will be encouraged to stand before that mirror unashamed with a sincere heart. Lord God, I desire that you be seen in me. Let it be you, sir, that I see. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I have for you today. God bless. Bye-bye.